Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. Our quiet, cooler than average August conditions will continue today. We are looking at that mostly clear sky out there this morning, and it is attributing to some cooler temperatures as we begin our Tuesday. We're at 51 degrees here at Terre Haute right now with the winds coming in out of the west southwest around three miles per hour. A very light breeze, a little bit of cloud cover to our north, but most of us are sitting underneath that clear sky. Again, that's equating to very cool temperatures. 48 degrees currently in Paris. 54 in Mattoon, 56 in Casey, 48 down in Robinson. Again, we're at 51 here in Terre Haute. The standing cold temperature record for today, the low temperature record for the day is 49 degrees. So we are watching that number closely, potentially could tie that number before this morning is said and done. In fact, we are forecasting 49 degrees by about 7 a.m. as the kids are headed out to the bus stops. That sky stays clear. Heading into the afternoon, we'll start to notice a few more clouds developing. Uh, overall, though, it's going to be a very fall-like feel this morning. And even heading into the afternoon, temperatures stay well below average. We're only on our way back into the mid-70s. Yesterday, we topped out near 77 degrees. We're going to be a few degrees cooler than that, mainly because of additional cloud cover in the afternoon. 75 in Terre Haute, 76 in Robinson, 77 in Olney down in Vincennes, and Lagodi also 77. Six degrees. We are in a battle zone right now. You can see this area of low pressure spinning its way just to the north of Michigan there, the UP of Michigan. This cloud deck extends with this system all the way into northern Indiana and northern Illinois. We have a dome of high pressure that's back to our west. So as you can tell, high pressure or low pressure, which one's going to win out? Well, this morning it's the clear skies. It's the high pressure, but heading into the afternoon, we'll start to see a few more clouds dipping in, and that is what's going to bring us that increased cloud cover today. So let's time that out. Here's future cast 7 a.m. Again, a mostly clear start to our day, but looking ahead of this afternoon after lunchtime, 2 o'clock, we'll start to get some daytime heating going. We'll start to see a few more clouds developing. Certainly more cloud cover is going to be around during the second half of the day, calling it partly sunny. None of those clouds are going to be rainmakers, so we do stay dry both tonight and through the overnight, putting us into Wednesday morning. So we'll go with again just a few clouds for the rest of the day today. 73 at 7 p.m. if you're headed out tonight, 70 at 8 o'clock, and eventually as we head through that 10 o'clock hour, dropping back to 67. Overnight lows tonight are not going to be as chill as of are waking up to this morning. Still very fall like out there with a low of 52 tonight. 53 in Linton, 53 down in Vincennes, and 52 degrees your overnight low in Robinson. Picking future cast back up at 8 o'clock Wednesday morning. Once again, we'll go with that partly cloudy sky. Not going to be that crystal clear sky tomorrow. Partly cloudy through the day, but staying dry. And then for our Thursday, a little bit more sunshine as cloud cover erodes a bit. So just a mixture of sun and clouds over the next several days, but staying dry. And of course, with that dry drier air. We talk about the pollen count increasing and it certainly is with ragweed and nettle this time of year. Really today through Thursday, we're going to keep those numbers in the extreme category. So if you do suffer from allergies, this dry weather, Probably not your friend this week, so just keep in mind those numbers are going to stay high. Again, your allergy forecast brought to you by Crow Equipment. So forecast for today, get dry with a partly sunny sky in the afternoon, a high of 75. Winds will start to pick up in the afternoon as well from the northwest up to 15 miles per hour. For the overnight tonight, partly cloudy. Additional clouds will keep temperatures a few degrees warmer, going with that low of 52. And then heading into the day tomorrow, once again, we stay below average with a high back to 77 dry for the rest of the week. Notice this gradual warming trend, though. As we head through Friday, we'll start to see those highs rebounding back near 80. A slight chance of rain on Saturday, but that's really the only rain chance in that seven-day extended forecast.